in this lecture I'm going to briefly introduce you to World Bank data and World Bank uh, it has it is a very rich resource for data data sets pertaining to different countries so if you want to work with these data then you can say pip install WB data import WB data and yes you can read the documents about what the different metrics World Bank provides and I said and as, as I said you have a lot of different metrics out there so on that and let me just save it it doesn't seem to be wanting to save this so now now let's just look at the different indicators and metrics that World Bank provides us with. So I'm going to call the function WB data because I imported WB data dot get indicators. And let's see what we have. Source one, let's see what we get in here. So these are the different indicators, things like resolving insolvency, percentage of estate, paying taxes, getting electricity, getting credit, you know. These are some of the indicators that we have in here. Now let's see what we have in source two. Merchandise, computer communications, and all of these. Now let us see what other things we can get. So get country. I'm interested in say, hmm, I don't know, say Japan. Let's just go with Japan. Okay, it doesn't like Japan, so I'm going to try something else. So, now it'll, it just got me the country name Chile. Now I'm interested in indicators pertaining, which say relate to GDP per capita. So uh, again, in this case, I'm going to search through all the indicators, WB data dot search indicators and try to get GDP per capita. You can already see the query written there. So, and this query is going to take a bit of time, so I'm not going to run it, but then these are the different GDP variables out there. Let's see if they have something relating just to household. Or if they have indicators, say, relating to education. Okay, now all of these are indicators which pertain to, say, education survival rate to grade four so this is the coding that they have done uias tat tatter and what it really means now we can actually set up countries so i'm going to set up two countries i'm interested in them and yes you can look up look up their ico codes Chile and Uruguay and then I set up the indicators as a dictionary indicators GNI per capita now I'm going to get a data frame DF WB data get data frame in that I'm going to put in indicators and in country we are going to have countries and convert I don't have dates so I'm going to leave that so these are the default indicators and I'm just putting in the values and let's see if we get something so now these are the data pertaining to Chile for the different years and this is the GNI 
per capita for the different years and again this gives us the opportunity to get some time series plotting done with world bank data so you know that's just one way of obtaining world bank data sets for different countries